Disky Times, now available in stores around the country. It is going to be part by World Sports Betting at Disky Times. The CEO, the Zare Mamela Sundowns, four golden arrows nil, emphatic, um, straightforward, bullish. Um, yeah, that was really, really a good performance by Sundowns, especially uh, in the first half. The last 30 minutes of that game is not something you would advertise to anyone, really. Uh, the players have stopped playing. Uh, they were punishing us for watching them forgetting that they are selling a football product. But here we are. Well done to Sundowns. That was clinical in the first half. So, Vilagazi, former Mamelo, the Sundowns forward. What did you make of the game, sir? Gabrielu. Yeah, I. Gabrielu, I'm going to go to the corner, Mr. Kyo. This team is very strong. Special first half, where it was so difficult for Arrows to stop them in all the angles. Uh, and, and, you know, the way be the corner is is sundowns was like a to net in full. He has no being a pant, Mr. Kewunga Petang Umbrella. Udbegi Sandla Lao Vimbala is of netang up. Ud we have Vimbanga pick netting up. That's how sundowns they were they were uh, first half. Um they played very well, but second half after the mid changes, uh, it 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 looks as if they they are on the same level with, with, with the arrows. Uh, because now you can see arrows, he just started to play. You get to that final third. He is losing those those, those balls when getting to that final third. But the midfield of uh, first half, they couldn't do that at all. Uh, now second half, they can play, have those combination uh, passes, get to that final third. It tells you about some of the, 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 the players. And mind you, Unfortunately, the players, uh, uh, Sundowns players, is that when you get that opportunity, you need to cramp it with both hands. Mm. Because, uh, mind you, you you came in for uh, Shalulile. Okay, Shalulile is injured. Or uh, Alende. Someone who's, who's, who's controlling that midfield. Someone who makes things happen in that midfield. And when you come in, it, you, you, where he left, you need to take uh, up. But now they, it's like the standard dropped uh, because Zungu, oof, you know. Zungu is interesting because he looks like he's four weeks behind. We could process. You know what? Yeah. Sometimes you can look at the player yeah. and you're like, okay, yeah. this one, because he was injured, yeah. he's three weeks behind the yeah. schedule, say, periodization and everything else. Yes. He's a professional. He used to play in France. He won the Champions League with Sundowns. Um, it's, a, it's a pity because... Okay, it's just one game here now, but it doesn't look like he would bench an Alende, for example. He wouldn't bench a Mukwena, for example, based on this performance. No, because you know why I I I'm not going to get tired when I'm thinking about the Gabanda Bazao. Some Gabanga Luguti is coming from injury and what what. Look at Rivaldo. He's been out for how long? Yeah. He's been out for how long, Rivaldo? But when you look at him playing, he's totally different. It's like they put a new player. At sundowns, so that's what we need. Remember, Mr. K, when you 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 are out injured, when you come back, you need to work double than the players that they've been playing. In fact, in fact, so I'm not saying he was injured. I'm saying yeah. he actually looks yes. like he was injured. Yes. He was not yes. injured. Yes. He looks like someone who's missed out on a four weeks of preseason, yeah. Yeah. even though he participated on the preseason. The heavy passes, yeah. not not looking forward. Because the thing is, this thing, especially with that position. And with this team, it's an attacking team, it's undowns. Yeah. You constantly have to be moving forward. Alende is constantly moving forward. Mukwena is constantly moving forward. A 30-yard and a 20-yard pass is forward, not sideways, not backwards. And I remember in this game, in the last five minutes, I, I remember distinctly yeah. seeing yeah. Uzung, and I'm like, he's trying to, to, to locate someone, but the pass is so poor yeah. that it's it's like he's not the Zungu that we know. And we talk about uh, golden arrows, so um, Abu Vila and Abu Maputi Kanyeza. Um, I woke up this morning not thinking that they were going to beat Sundowns. And I think that a lot of South Africans didn't think that um, Aros was going to beat Sundowns. That's a realistic yeah. thing about football. Yeah. That Even yesterday, we didn't think that Manchester United were going to lose to Wolves. Yeah. But then Wolves brought the game to Manchester United. But 99 out of 100 times, they're going to lose to Man United anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they lost yesterday even though they deserved something from that game. Yeah. Today, he called an Aros, there were nowhere to be found. And I didn't expect them to cause any problem for Sundowns. Mr. Kero, you know, that's why about when you go to giant, you, you look at that giant. What is the giant? Uh, 
is a flexible, is not flexible. So, should you manage away? No, you land Maybe I can get something. Yes, Uzong Shire. But Mel, I got so all Ung Shire, Mr. Kill. But now, Nigeria in the Pigil, they just go straight guns. Ung Shire Street Pants came down. That's what I think. He arrested Sundowns. They 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 went there. We we we. They, they they wanted to treat Sundowns like any other team with their game. And you, you can't. It's 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 a reality. You can't. These guys are so special. They're so special in, 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 in individual players. They've got players that they've got individual brilliance, players that they can have combination, you know, out of nothing, they can create something and then get a goal out of that. And as a group, as a team, they're so special. So when you go and play against that team, you need to be very, very careful, study them properly, make the right decision at the right time. Because if you're not going to do that, this is how it's going to end. And But uh, look, uh, that's not the end of the road for the, for, for, for our food. But for two, um, I would say in, 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 in this football, we, we, we all started somewhere. Uh, um, before you can be a professional player, you were one. We were once, so now I'm five, six, seven years old. Then that's we started to play football. We didn't know anything. Start to learn development. That's how we learn. So uh, even uh, I'm, I'm a cheater. Uh, I'm saying to them guys, heads up. Uh, that's that's how you should you 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 learn in the game. I hope you've learned. I can sit down so that going forward, you no, know, take that experience and build that team to go forward. Right, there you go. That's uh, Mamelodi Sundowns beating Golden Arrows as expected. There was something I said a few years ago that the only reason why Arrows and Mamelodi Sundowns are mentioned in the same sentence is because they are in the same country and they play in the same league and that's where the similarities end. There is no expectation that this team from Lamontville with their budget, with their vision of football could beat the other team. Every now and then, every once in a while, because things are surprising and football is football, around your Kangalega, you will get a surprising result, maybe a surprising draw. But more often than not, out of 100 times, Sundowns should beat Golden Arrows 98 times at least. Draw one and maybe lose one. Lose once every 10 years against this team. It is good, it is good times. World Sports Betting, thank you for watching us.